Welcome back to Time Slide Info. Indian Navy is very much excited post getting an approval for six conventional submarines via the Project 75I. As the request for proposal for the construction of the Project 75I submarines is expected to be issued very soon, everyone is eagerly awaiting the foreign vendor who is going to work with the Indian shipyards. The two domestic shipyards who were shortlisted were Mazak and Dock shipbuilders and LNT shipyards. The five global companies who were shortlisted are Russia's Rosboron Export, Germany's Tyson Group, France Naval Group, Spain's Navantia and South Korea's Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering. Until now we are not sure if the entire six submarines would be built by one of the Indian shipyard or it would be distributed among both of them. I have already uploaded a video on that particular topic and you can get the video link in the top right i button or in the details section of this particular video. One of the most important features which Indian Navy is looking out of these six submarines is the capability to stay underwater for a long time and for this we need to have a proven and a quality AIP system. When I say AIP it is air independent propulsion system which is a marine propulsion technology that allows a non nuclear submarine to operate underwater without access to atmospheric oxygen. The air independent propulsion is usually implemented as an auxiliary source so that the diesel electric submarines do not have to come to surface very frequently to charge their batteries. Out of five foreign vendors, the easiest way of choosing the OEM, which is the original equipment manufacturer, by the Mazak and Dock shipbuilders is to see who can offer their own designed and developed AIP. And these AIP should have been installed and tested on an operational submarines. I am not sure if LNT shipyard will also go for this mode of choosing the foreign vendor. If this criteria is taken more seriously, then this clause could eliminate France, Russia and Spain from the contest leaving only Germany and South Korea that have operational submarines with AIP technology. Just like DRDO, these three countries, which is France, Russia and Spain, have demonstrated only land-based AIP to power the submarines for long endurance. But these have not been fitted on board a submarine yet. In one of my previous videos, I provided details on South Korea's Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering's advanced AIP technology and lithium battery technology. Similarly, Germany does have a proven system of AIP. So it is very much clear that it would be either Germany or South Korea who might get a chance to build these submarines along with Indian shipyard. Let's wait and see which country gets a chance to build these six conventional submarines for Indian Navy. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more updates and news on defense and aviation from Tenslide Info.